So in this video, I'm going to be installing Ubuntu 24.04 version and it's called the Noble Number. So this version of Ubuntu will be released in April 2024. So this is the installer. I'm going to open it. So this is the welcome page and here is where I have to choose the language. I'm going to leave it as English. I'll click next. So this is the accessibility in Ubuntu and here you can customize Ubuntu to your needs before you set up and you can also change them later in system settings so this is seeing i just click on the forward arrow and here you can change all these settings high contrast large text reduce animation screen reader this is hearing and this is visual alerts this is typing sticky keys and slow keys so this is pointing and clicking you can turn this on and this is zoom so you can turn on the desktop zoom so I'm going to click next so this is the keyboard layout select your language you can also detect it here and this is to select your keyboard variant you can also type here to test your keyboard I'm going to click next. So here is where you have to connect to the internet. So I have Wi-Fi in this mini desktop computer. So I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi network. You can also connect to a hidden Wi-Fi network or do not connect to the internet. I'm going to click next. So an update is available for installer. You can update to the latest version with more features. So I'll click update now. So once update is completed, you have to close the installer and relaunch to continue. So this is the type of installation. How would you like to install Ubuntu? There are two options, interactive installation or automated installation. So interactive installation is for users who want to be guided step by step through the installation. And the second option, automated installation, is for advanced users. I'm going to leave it as interactive installation. Click next. So this is the applications. And it says here, what apps would you like to install to start with? There's default selection. And this is just the essentials, web browser and basic utilities. This is the extended selection and offline friendly selection of office tools, utilities, and web browser. I'll select extended selection. Click next. Here is where you optimize your computer, install recommended proprietary software. So here you can install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. I'm going to check that box. And you can also download and install support for additional media formats. I'm going to check this box. Click next. So this is the disk setup. How do you want to install Ubuntu? So in this computer, I had a previous installation of Ubuntu in it. That's why it's given me this option. So if you have Windows or another operating system, you are going to get a similar option. The second option is erase this and install Ubuntu. And this is if you want to start from scratch on your selected disk. And the third option is manual installation. And this is if you want to partition the disk and install Ubuntu in a particular partition. I'm going to select erase disk and install Ubuntu. I'm going to click next. So here you have to create an account. I'm going to type a name. So I'm going to type John. The computer name, I'm going to type Lenovo. For the username, I'm going to leave it as John. I'm going to type a simple password. I'll retype the password. So there are two options here. Require my password to log in and use Active Directory. I'm not going to use Active Directory, but I do want to require a password to log on. So I'm going to leave this check. Click next. So on this page, you have to select your time zone. It's detecting that I'm in New York and the time zone is New York Eastern time. If you need to change it, you just have to type the name of the country and city. You can also move this red dot. So I'm going to click next. So this is a summary of all the settings. I'll click install and it's installing. Okay, installation is complete. I'm going to click on restart now. So I'm going to log in. So on the left side, this is the dock. This is the show apps grid icon. So this is a list of the apps. So 
So there's a trash icon, help. So this is the app center. So here you can download more apps here if you would like. And they are listed by categories also. You can also search for apps here. So there's featured. There's for productivity. There's development. And there's games. So there's manage here. And here you can check for available updates. So this is LibreOffice Writer. And this is installed by default. This is the files folder. You can also right click any one of these folders and you have all these menu options. You can also create permissions. So Firefox is installed by default and this is the home folder. So I'm going to right click the desktop and here I can create a new folder. So I can also right click the folder and I have all these options. So I'm going to select change background. So these are some of the wallpapers. And this is dark mode. You can also change the colors here. So I'm going to choose this wallpaper. So this is settings. You can also get settings from the grid icon. So this is Wi-Fi. You can configure your Wi-Fi there. This is network. And you can configure your network here. This is network options. You can configure VPN here. You can configure a proxy here. This is the sound settings. This is the power settings. This is multitasking. So this is the workspaces and multi-monitor. So if you have two monitors, you can configure the workspaces here. This is app switching. I'll click on appearance. So you can also add a picture background. This is Ubuntu desktop. So this is desktop icons and you can set it to small, large or tiny. You can also set the position of new icons. The default is bottom right. So if you don't want to show the home folder, you can turn it off here. This is the dock. You can set it to auto hide. And this is the panel mode. The dock extends to the screen edge. You can turn that off. You can change the icon size here. You can increase it or decrease it. So in this option, show on, if you have multiple monitors, you can configure to show the dock on both monitors and the position on screen. Right now it's left. It's at the bottom. I'll set it to right. Yeah, you can configure the dock behavior. So you can show volume on devices. For example, this is the USB drive. I can turn that off. You can also show the trash icon or not. 
and this is enhanced styling so there's styling pop-up and tile groups so these are the apps that I installed you can also search here for the apps and you can configure default apps just click on default apps so if you have more than one web browser you can set it here for web mail calendar music video photos this is notifications and you can configure your notifications here this is the app notifications this is search this is online accounts and you can configure an online account with any one of these this is sharing this is the mouse and touchpad this is the keyboard setting this is color so it says here each device needs an up-to-date color profile to be color managed this is printers so you already detected a printer on the network and you can add printer here this is accessibility and you can set this to always show accessibility menu this is privacy and security and you can detect connection issues you can configure the screen lock this is location you can set it to be automatic this is file and history you can clear the history you can empty the trash delete temporary files so this is diagnostics so this is device security so this is system this is region and language date and time users you can add more users here so this is remote desktop and here you can configure your remote desktop settings you can enable or disable remote desktop connections to this computer there's also remote control you can allow remote connections to control the screen you can turn this off or on and this is how to connect and this is authentication and this is to verify encryption so this is secure shell and you can turn this on there's also the ssh login command and you can copy this so this is just a preview of Ubuntu 24.04, the Noble Numbat. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.